NBC Sports presents the 2006 Ford Ironman World Championship. You can learn a lot about life on the Big Island of Hawaii. What sustains it? And how today is everything until it's over. How it can be rejuvenated to reveal what's deep inside. And how boundaries are made to be broken. Those lessons come here in an event called the Ironman. 1,800 people united by the challenge to prove, to inspire, to finish a once thought to be unreachable distance. Most of them are you and me. I am a plumber, firefighter, teacher, a lawyer, a marine, FBI, pharmacist, hair colors, waitress, massage therapist. I'm a nun. Tomorrow, I go back to being a foreign currency trader. One comes to be a champion like he was a year ago. Another to reprove his strategy works. A woman tries to join the all-time greats. Then there are those proven athletes who now so desperately want what winning here will say about them. But they are the minority. The everyman is a soldier fighting a new battle. A nun riding into the sunset. A firefighter embracing a blaze. And a total embrace of the word ability. What happens now changes lives every year. It's pretty emotional at the start. And you'd think after racing so many times, it wouldn't be, it'd just be a piece of cake. But there's something about it, you almost want to cry just before the start of the race. The elite competitors are given a head start from the rest of the 1,800 people who make up the race. Too many times, overzealous back of the Packers have gotten in the way. Not anymore. Competitors here range from professional triathletes to lawyers to doctors and many teachers. But there's only one adventure racer who happens to be a female firefighter. I'm not a triathlete. I'm a Rottweiler competing with, with a bunch of greyhounds. Robin Benacasa has started and finished this race three times before. Iron Man taught me how to be hard, how to be just mentally hard and to suffer. And I took that and brought it to adventure racing. All righty then, it's you and me, Cole. She's been a top adventure racer for 12 years. I mean, to me, it's just so, there's a, a few neat things about Iron Man that you don't get in an adventure race. First of all, you're standing there at the start line going, I am gonna be in a bed tonight. This I haven't had in 12 years. I mean, my races are six days long, so the prospect of standing there at the start line going, I'm gonna be in a bed tonight with a meal in my stomach, that's huge. I mean, that's so, that's so wonderful mentally to know it's gonna be over at the end of the day. It's exciting. And I'm spent. Before she can sleep in her bed tonight, this firefighting Rottweiler will have to cover 120 miles. I'm winning. Robin Benincasa. I'm a firefighter. I am 39. For real. <laughs> this is my fourth Iron Man. The adventure seeking firefighter has climbed another mountain. Robin will probably be back for more. 
And now, everybody gets back to their real life. I am a waitress. Plumber. Contractor. FBI. Promises. Firefighter. Flight attendant. Air colors. A Marine. Teacher. I am a lawyer. But for one day. But for one day. But for one day. But for one day. I was an Iron Man.